PM Lee says much work must be done and done quickly as Singapore heads into a troubled and dangerous global situation. He says that the world is facing challenges from not one but three main fronts, a multilateral trading system that's under siege, rising US-China tensions and a deadlocked war in Ukraine. Lauren Ong tells us more. Deep mutual suspicion and fundamental distrust. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long explains that the U.S. government and population view China as a grave threat and enemy. While over in China, they're convinced the U.S. is trying to hold back their growth. Then there's the most dangerous flashpoint of all, Taiwan. Singapore rigorously upholds our One China policy and continues to support the peaceful development of cross-straits relations. China considers Taiwan as the most important issue and the one China principle to be the reddest of its red lines. But in the West, an alternative narrative is gaining, is gaining currency. That the problem in cross-strait relations is a broader ideological issue of democracy versus autocracy. This is even though most countries, including most Western countries, have officially adopted one China policies. This difference of views is very worrying. With hostilities deepening, Mr. Lee believes relations between the two superpowers will not improve anytime soon. Right now, tensions over Taiwan are high. All sides continue to make moves, responding to one another. After Dr Tsai Ing-wen met US House Speaker Kevin McCarthy during her recent stopover in the US, China launched three days of extensive military exercises all around Taiwan. A CCTV report described them as comprehensive and precise simulated attacks on the key targets in the island and surrounding waters. The risks of a miscalculation or mishap are growing. Adding to the air of dread is the war in Ukraine, with the US hoping that China will use its influence to help stop the fighting. China would prefer not to aggravate Europe and the US by providing military support for Russia's war in Ukraine. But China is hard pressed to condemn Russia's invasion, or pressure Russia to stop fighting. It shares a very long land border with Russia, and it has to consider its own substantial relations with Russia. So the war has made it difficult for China to improve relations with Europe, even though I think both sides would like to do so. It has also complicated China's already very troubled ties with the United States. There's also a danger that the Ukraine war will escalate, impacting global supply chains and driving prices higher. This is coupled with a global multilateral system that's already under siege. All over the world, countries are prioritizing domestic and national security considerations. Countries no longer talk about trade being win-win. Too often, when countries quarrel, their bilateral trade becomes embroiled in these disputes. Mr. Lee wants that growth, innovation and capital flows will be severely hampered as the world becomes increasingly protectionist and trade rules less important. They impose restrictions on imports or exports. They seek to inflict maximum political pain while blandly denying any hostile intent. It's a vicious cycle. Countries trust each other less and less to play by the rules. Therefore, they are increasingly going their own way and onshoring or friendshoring supply chains. And this then triggers a tit for tat response from the other side. The Prime Minister urges Singaporeans to realize the gravity of the situation. He wants that they can only survive as an open economy. And these developments will come at a very high economic cost, especially for Singapore.